What's going on you guys? It's me, Kevin, bringing you another Cronus Zen tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on the Red Dead Redemption 2 gamepad that they got for us in the Cronus Zen. Now, I did one prior, you know, a while back for the Strike Pack, so I covered that game pack, same thing. So if you guys want to check that out, just go on my channel, you guys will find it. Red Dead Redemption 2 Strike Pack game pack tutorial, whatever, you guys will find it. Now, both game packs are identical. They're, they're pretty much copy and paste with, you know, minor differences, but you guys be a judge of that. Without further ado, jumping straight into it, it's going to be a short, simple, sweet game pack. I already dragged and dropped it down here. Click number four, my fourth slot. It's going to bring it up. Now, I'm going to go through this quick because it ain't much to um to really, you know, discuss or describe. It's pretty much self-explanatory, these mods. Rapid Fire. Boom. Have it enabled. I'm going to be going over that. Rapid Fire activated. This is just how you want the Rapid Fire to work. You can have it working ADS and fire. Fire, ADS is ignored. Or fire only, ADS blocks the mod. I wouldn't advise using this or this. This is the default. This is the go-to. You want Rapid Fire to be working every time you're just firing your weapon. Pretty much every time you hold down that R2 or R1 if you're playing flip. Strafe shot, another self-explanatory. You got disable enabled. Strafe shot is pretty much gonna is gonna strafe for you. It's gonna move your character left or right. In this case, I believe it's it's right. Even while you're crouching, your character's gonna be walking right to avoid being shot. Pretty much straight up PvP mod. All about PvP right here. It could be very useful in PvP. Now, Strafe Shot Activator, same way that this works up here, the Rapid Fire Activator. Strafe Shot Activator works exactly the same. It just says uh, Fire Only. I don't know why they probably forgot to add the rest of the um, the rest of the wording right here, but it's pretty much the same thing. So you want to leave it on Fire Only here. So it could work and you can get the best out of them. But to each his own. If you guys want to experiment and try other, um, other activators, go ahead. Now, next one is going to be Auto Duck. Pretty much... Auto, um, pretty much automatically spams crouch. It's like a spam crouch mod. Up and down is going to be spamming to avoid getting shots, avoid getting headshots, and when you and when you fight. This is you know another straight up PVP mod. Um, because I wouldn't be advising using these mods while you're hunting and gathering stuff like. Oh no, you can just leave it enabled. You know, it won't, it won't hurt, but it could it could kind of get a nuisance. So if you if you rock, rocking this game pack, I advise you you PVP in a lot. This these are, this is the settings you want to have. Sprint horse autopilot. Always sprint, pretty much auto auto run, pretty much auto run. Godly mod, I advise using it anytime you're using you know any game pack with a strike pack or Chrono Zen. It by far the best. It saves the analog stick and it saves your thumb a lot of pressure. Now you got horse autopilot. Horse autopilot is pretty much it's gonna automatically uh, make your horse gallop, you know, at a slow or or a fast pace, and it's automatically gonna follow the tracker. Like you know, when you're putting a marker on something on the map, you know, you make the horse double tapping X, I believe, or whatever it makes your horse. You know, follow the track. This mod does all that for you. But I advise just leaving an auto sprint because you're going to have either or. And auto sprint obviously is the better out of the two. Because once you get off your horse, this mod is pretty much useless, in my opinion. But everybody has their own their own mixed opinions to so each his own. Hair triggers, pretty much like trigger stops. We all know when we all know what that are. This is what, what they are. This is another godly mod. So these two always, always these two. Trust me, hair triggers and auto sprint is like a must. And we got the LED brightness, 24%. Now, this is mainly for, like, if you're playing with the Corona Zen wirelessly, because it's pretty much useless if you're playing wired because your controls never going to die. It's always being charged, plugged in. But if you're playing wirelessly with the Corona Zen, I advise you just leave it on 24%. At 100%, it's going to kill your battery completely. Just leave it at 24 the lowest dim possible, and you'll be good to go. And block rumble enabled. That's for those of you who don't like having vibration, you know, on and um, while you're playing the game. Come here and have it enabled here. But in game, and I'll show you in game, in settings, no matter what game pack you're using, when it comes to Strike Pack Cross Zen, you gotta have vibration on in game. It's a must. That's the way the mods work. That's the way it communicates. It must be on in game. But you come in here in the game pack and have it, you know, enabled block rumble right here in this game pack, and you don't gotta worry about vibration. Now let's go to the game. You want to close it and come all the way to the left like always program device click this play button right here it's like that it saves whatever changes you've done to whatever game pack takes a few seconds you know no longer than like a minute and then you're good to go now i'm gonna bring you to the gameplay all right you guys wow wow i forgot how beautiful this game is holy but anyway i'm here in my camp uh, i forgot when i last left off i haven't played this game in so long guys but um just check it down. Is it? Oh, that's how much I got a bounty. That's how much I got. But anyway, let's get straight into it. What's my horse? He's over there. All right. 
First things first, make sure you're on the right game pack. As you can see, the LED screen right here. I know it's kind of because brightness kind of hard to see. But um, yeah, make sure you're on the right Red Dead Redemption 2 game pack. And make sure you have vibration on in game. You know, you just double check options, go down to settings, controls, and just make sure that vibration is on. Or else you won't be able to um quick edit right straight from from the LED screen on your on your cards in. Right there under it, under the Red Dead Redemption 2 logo, it says LT plus options. That's left trigger, aka ADS. And that's how you enter your um the settings right here through the LED screen. So L2 options. As you can see, these are the different mods. It says mod right here that you could just quickly um enable and disable whatever mod you're not using. All right, so that's first thing that you guys should know. Press circle save. Now on with the video with the mods. First thing is auto run. See the auto sprint mod, self-explanatory. Just automatically sprints everywhere. It's on 24/7. It's always on, even when you're in a horse. So let me just show you guys. Even when getting on the horse, it's active. It's active at all times. It just takes over instead of you spamming X. It just takes over and it starts spamming it for you. Even though when you're on the, when you're on the horse, it still spams X at all times, which is pretty dope. I find it very useful. There's a lot of ammo around. I find it very very useful, just like in any game. To me, like the most used mod should be auto sprint. You're right. You're right next to hair triggers. Two of the most godlike mods. Do bear in mind that when you open up your map, when you go into your map and you're moving your cursor, it's going to be doing that. It's going to be marking a lot when you go up because it's spamming X. So if you don't like that and that's a new sense, you can, like I showed you in the beginning, um, right here, your top right corner of your screen, you can disable that mod just by going into the game pack for the Zen using the LED screen and disable the auto sprint mod, you know, just so you can mark something on the map and then enable it again. But um, doesn't really bother most people. It definitely doesn't bother me. And I definitely choose the auto sprint over the horse um pilot because, like I explained in the beginning, the horse pilot is just for the horse. Um, automatically uh, will gallop for you. You know when you mark something on the map and it just follows the track and stuff like that. It'll automatically be um be taming your horse and stuff on when you're on a horse. But when you're off, you know you're not gonna have any auto sprint. So um. That that's my opinion. I mean, you could try out the, you could try out the the horse mod for yourself, the the pilot mod for yourself, and if you like it more, a hey, shout out to you. But I like to tell you guys the honest opinion and the the best things I feel you know is the best mods and auto sprint is right. Next, I want to show you guys is is uh, the three mods that actually kind of go together. <laughs> First, when you ADS, you, your character's gonna be strafing. He's going to be going right. Even while you're crouching, he's still going to be going right. That's the auto strafe mod, really for like PvP purposes. And obviously when you move, he's going to be going faster. He doesn't go left. He only goes right. Now, that's extremely useful for PvP. The PvP game modes, it's like that. It gives your target a hard time to try to shoot you and lock onto you. And it all works um, all around when you're crouching. Still works, you know, regardless. So it's pretty good. That together with um, rapid fire, as you can see, Rapid fire mod. All I'm doing is holding out R2, and he's he's continuously shooting. Um, works for no matter what gun you got. You just hold down R2, and there you have it. Reload. Now the next mod I want to show you is the uh, rapid crouch. I got a more ammo here, so let me switch to this. Now the rapid crouch works when you're firing a weapon. When you're holding out R2 or R1 if you're playing flipped or whatever, whatever have you, it works as so. No matter what gun you got, he's gonna continuously be spamming, crouching like this. Kind of, kind of works the same like, uh, like the strafe, and they kind of work together, which is pretty dope. Um, you can't do both at the same exact time, but I can understand why. But it's again, it's pretty dope. It's a very useful mod for PvP when you're hunting and stuff. I wouldn't advise it, so I wouldn't advise using mods like that if you're hunting because it's just an animal. But those mods are specifically for like PvP. I guess other players, the crowd, the crouch spam, and the um, auto strafe. So even when you don't have a weapon, I'm just holding L2, and he's just walking. <laughs> Pretty good mods. Trust me, use them. Use them together, or use one at a time. You can disable them however you see fit. Again, you come on here to your play style or whatever you prefer. 
You can enable and disable any mod you want to have on or off. Strike straight from the LED screen by going into the menus I like like I showed you. For example, let me go let me just go through one. So I'm gonna hold down ADS or L2 or left trigger and options. So boom. Now it opens it. It says mod menu, then adjustables. You go to mod menu, here you have rapid fire. See? Press right on D-pad to disable it or enable it. Next, we got strafe. Right. Oh yeah, skipping the rapid fire, my gap rapid fire on ADS or on uh, on fire or whatever have you. But skipping that, going to straight fire, enable, disable. Let me disable straight fire. Save to the end. Now, when I ADS, he's no longer strafing. See, now I got to strafe for myself. But cross spam is still active. See that? Cross spam only works while you're firing your weapon as well. Well, and not ADSing, so bear that in mind. Play around the game pack, you know, see how you see fit, your settings. Everyone has their own their own ways. And that's it. It was a very short game pack. Um I know it's it's kind of sort of different. Um it does have a similarities to the strike pack game pack that my pass that collect my has us for the my pass. Now I have a video that I already went over the strike pack like eons ago in my channel so for those of you that got the strike pack and not the send and you're interested check my channel for that video the red redemption 2 strike pack on um, my my pack video and it should be there that's all about the strike pack now again both game both game packs are the same but minor differences like it's just uh obvious obvious reasons my um uh, slight differences so i know a lot of you guys um that got zen or the strike pack or got both or got either or i got two videos um one covering for a different direction, two for the strike pack, and one covering for the scent. So, I hope this video helped you out. Drop it a like, support your boy, subscribe if you're new, check out my other content, and I'm out. Stay safe. But oh, one other thing: when you're when you're eating anything or anything that 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 has to do with holding R2, and you have the rapid fire mod active, or, or, or and the and the cross spam, this is what's gonna happen. Especially when you're eating something, or eating stew or whatever. It's, it's, it's just spamming R2. You're going to continuously be crouching. Um, nope, don't shoot. Nope. And uh, yeah, so just bear that in mind. But anyway, like I said, if you don't feel like you just disable it quickly and then eat and whatever. So, hey, that's my boy Skunkweed. What's going on? It's me, your boy, Kev, and I'm out. Peace.